Hey, welcome to GameSpot Live. Uh, this is the video review for Secret Weapons of World War II, the new expansion pack for Battlefield 1942. Now, Battlefield 1942, of course, was the multiplayer shooter that uh, came out last year. Kind of took the online first-person shooter world by storm with its uh, combination of accessible gameplay and lots and lots of vehicles. Uh, the new expansion pack adds a lot more new vehicles, uh, some new weapons, and a new item called the Rocket Pack. It also adds eight new maps, and uh, basically everything the expansion pack adds is really good. Uh, it just seems like it could have added more. So one of the new items that the expansion pack adds is the rocket pack, which is basically a, a personal jet pack that you can use to jump up to the top of a roof or something like that for a good sniper point. It sounds like it would be really overpowered, but it's actually not. Uh, it doesn't let you fly for extended periods of time. Uh, it saddles you with uh, the rather unimpressive MP40 machine gun, and uh, basically if you take a solid hit while you're flying, basically you blow up and die. Pretty much all the other stuff that the expansion adds is, is pretty similarly balanced. Uh, for instance, the expansion adds uh, new super tanks, basically the, the German Sturm Tiger uh, and the American T-95. Uh, these are very, very powerful weapons. The Sturm Tiger can actually fire uh, in a straightforward fashion rather than uh, firing an arc that you have to compensate for. Uh, but these uh, vehicles are actually pretty balanced uh, because uh, of limited ammo or turning radius or speed. Uh, a lot of the additions are actually pretty balanced in this way. Uh, the same can be said for a lot of the expansion's other vehicles. Uh, for instance, Secret Weapons adds uh, some new aircraft, such as uh, the experimental rocket planes, the Goblin and the Natter. These are both extremely fast planes uh, that you can use to travel very, very quickly. Uh, if you're very skilled, you can also use them to dogfight, but uh, they're, they're actually pretty limited in other ways. Uh, both of them are pretty fragile. The Goblin only has uh, a set of machine guns, and the Natter uh, has limited fuel. Some of these additions actually changed the fundamental gameplay of Battlefield 1942. For instance, the C-47 cargo plane acts as a mobile spawn point, so you can use it to basically uh, just fly around the map and drop off your buddies uh, at various control points. The same can be said about the expansion's new amphibious vehicles, such as the LV-2 water buffalo or the Schwimmwagen. Uh, these are basically large armored vehicles that uh, you can drive into water, so you can cross rivers and lakes and such, uh, whereas normally you would uh, have to swim across. The expansion also has a total of eight new maps, and these maps are, are generally speaking, pretty well designed. Uh, EA and Digital Illusions actually had to design and balance these maps twice. Uh, once for the regular gameplay modes, such as Deathmatch and the standard Conquest mode, and once for the new Objective mode, where basically uh, one team is tasked with doing an objective, and the opposing team is tasked with preventing them to do that. The new Objective-based mode is a, a welcome change of pace uh, from the Conquest mode, which uh, just requires you to capture control points and can kind of go on and on and back and forth. However, like with a lot of other multiplayer games, uh, objective mode depends a lot on your teammates. If you're on a team with a lot of skilled players who work well as a group, uh, you may be able to accomplish your objective pretty quickly. Uh, whereas if you're on a team with a bunch of guys who are just kind of goofing off, uh, the, the whole game will kind of go nowhere and no one will achieve the goal. So while the expansion does add plenty of new features, new vehicles, uh, new weapons and other stuff, uh, and all of it is really good, it, it just seems kind of unfortunate that the expansion only includes eight maps. For instance, the new Wasserfall Missile Launcher is a, a new stationary turret that basically lets you direct a missile, an anti-air missile, from first-person view. Uh, it's a really neat weapon, it's a really fun weapon to use, and it's a shame that it wasn't featured on more maps. Uh, this is especially true just because, uh, from, basically from its release last year, uh, Battlefield 1942 has uh, inspired a lot of fans, a lot of hobbyists, to go out and make modifications in maps and things like that. This is especially true considering uh, the expansion's new $30 price tag. Um, it's a, a bit unusual just because the previous expansion pack, Road to Rome, sold at $20. Despite the game's $30 price tag, Secret Weapons of World War II actually does add quite a bit of uh, good new stuff. So if you do pick it up, it'll definitely give you reason to keep on playing your favorite multiplayer shooter.